In this session, we are going to discuss ranking or it is also known as ordering. In this topic, we are supposed to arrange a given set of people in a particular order that is ascending or descending order based on their weight, height, age, etc. To solve the various questions from this topic, we first need to understand some basic concepts. So let us understand the points which are important to solve the questions from this topic. Let us now discuss model 1 where we can find out the total number of persons in a row when we know the position of one particular person from both the ends. Let us say in a row of persons if the position of a particular person is R from the right end and L from the left end then the total number of persons in that row will be equal to R plus L minus 1 where R is the position of the person from right end and L is the position from the left end. That means whenever we know the position of one particular person from both the ends of the row, the total number of persons can be calculated as R plus L minus 1. Similarly, let us assume that a group of persons have been ranked from top to bottom. Here, when we know the rank of one particular person from the top end as well as the bottom end, then the total number of persons in that group can be taken as the rank of the person from top end plus the rank of the person from the bottom end minus 1. That means we can always find out the total number of persons in a group whether they are arranged in a row or column if we know the position of one particular person from both the ends. Let us now take an example based on this model. The given question here is Rahul ranked 9th from top and 38th from bottom in a class. What is the total number of students in the class? As we have already learned, we can find out the total number of students when we know the position or rank of a person from both the ends. Now as given in the question, the rank of Rahul from the top end is 9 and from the bottom end is 38. So we can say that the total number of students in the class would be equal to the rank from top that is 9 plus the rank from bottom that is 38 minus 1 which comes out to be 46. Therefore the total number of students in the class is 46.